Well, all right, all right, all right, all right. What's going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one, the only paid to drive. That's right, everybody. And if you're watching on the replay, leave a quick comment right now, everybody, saying hashtag team replay. I'll give you a second to do it. Did you do it? Nah, you didn't do it. Come on now, do it. And skip about a minute or two in to skip the intro that everybody hates so much. But all right, everybody, for everybody else who's live. All right, 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 all right. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one, the only, pay to drive. One of the only channels on YouTube trying to put a little bit more of that money back in your pocket, my friends. I hope you are all having a great one out there. hope you had a great Columbus Day. If you, if you celebrate that sort of thing, I don't know. But anyway, if you are a delivery driver for Grubhub, Uber Eats, Postmates, DoorDash, Caviar, Instacart, Amazon, Flex, Dlib, E24, Seamless, or any of the others, you should absolutely positively be subscribed to this channel with that post notification bell turned on. That's right, everybody. Turn that post notification bell on. Comment 777 if you did. Comment 888 if you did not yet. But that's all I got to say about that. And also, guys, make sure you join us on our vlog. Make sure you subscribe over there to the PTD Vlogs. That's where it's at, my friends. That is where it's at. Comment 999 if you're subscribed there. 10, 10, 10 if you're not yet. And that is that. That's right, everybody. Hope it is going well for you. That's right, my friends. All right, everybody, what is going on? So where are my Grubhub drivers at right now? I'm just curious. What's going on, everybody? Let's get those 50 likes out of the way. Real quick, comment 111 if you smash the like, 222 two, two, if you haven't yet. You know the deal. Sorry if my, my volume control on my microphone got a little messed up. What's going on, everybody? So I'm going to give a quick shout out to everybody. When you hear your name called, comment 555. We got Gig Economy, Rocker, Rock, Robert Sielski, Charles Mukas, Tim Harris, Penguin Love, 23, Wade. What's up, Wade? I haven't seen you. Matt Man, Hogan Reports, Rick Reviews. Oh, Raul Garcia, Stacy Klein. Uh, what else do we got here? We got Jason Johnson, Stacy Klein again. Life is great. DFW Food Delivered. Um, who else do we got? Cassie Kendig and her daughter. River's here. Star is. Uh, Anthony Riki, what's up? You made your first video? Nice. Fernando Yara, Daryl Berry. It is not not close to Friday. No. What's up, Budasan? Budasan. Raul Garcia's rocking it. What's going on? I'm getting bombarded with text messages here. Jeez. Must be a popular person this evening. By the way, I saw the new Joker movie. I would highly recommend it. Really, really good. Getting giggy with it. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Getting giggy with it. Baby Driver, you're back. Baby Driver's here to ask me when my app is coming out and ask and and ask me all those personal questions like they always do. We love you, Baby Driver. What's up, Chris Gilbreth? What's happening, Baby Driver? Where have you been? Seriously. No, I don't have to, Penguin Love 23. Like I said, I do my lunch blocks on Grubhub and it's pretty solid. Oh, geez, wait, I hope you're doing okay. I hope you're all right. So anyways, you guys ready to jump into this? Man, of course, you guys have been ready. You guys have been ready. All right. So let me get my bearings straight here. Check it out. This comes from one of my viewers named Low Key. L-O-K-I. Everyone say, thank you, Loki. So they're brand new to Grubhub and Postmates. So check this out. All right, everyone. And let's see if we can give them a little bit of assistance here. They're a newbie. So they said here, here's my dilemma. Grubhub, Postmates, and DoorDash have been advertising all over my local job boards. 
So I signed up for all three and I've been approved for Grubhub and Postmates. So today my Grubhub package arrived. I had some time to kill, so I figured I would log into the app and see if I can get any deliveries. So a few hours go by and no deliveries come. I figured, okay, well I don't have a block, so that's gotta be why I'm not getting any deliveries. I guess uh, out of boredom and curiosity, I downloaded the Grubhub ordering app. Upon installing it and looking at the available restaurants in my area, there was a grand total of three. That's right, three restaurants in my zone. Being a bit taken back by this and very curious as to why they're advertising all up and down everywhere for drivers, but there's no restaurant set up to utilize the service. I then thought to myself, I better check Postmates. And sure enough, upon downloading and installing their app for delivery services, Postmates reports they offer no service in my area. So pretty much my question is, why did both of these companies send me bags and debit cards but not hire me for a job that doesn't appear to exist in my area? Is there a way that I could contact Grubhub and Postmates to find out when the service is going to be starting in my area or what the heck is going on? So what do we think, guys? To me, it just sounds like it's a brand new market and they were just trying to flood the market with drivers so that when these orders start coming in, that the orders get fulfilled. I'm just curious, do we have any Grubhub drivers here? Comment 333 if you are a Grubhub driver. Comment 444 if you're not. And what do you guys think that this person should do? What should Loki do? Uh, the Joker movie is really good. It's pretty intense, which makes the movie really good. Oh, yeah, it's definitely intense. You don't see it coming half the time, that's for sure. But what would you recommend? Yes, exactly, because they're launching in the area later this uh, they, later this year. Absolutely. Yup. Justin Adair, thank you. If you if you do have a story, a, a story, a story you'd like to share, uh, send it to pay to drive stories at gmail.com. Exactly, Wade. It was great. Really, really good. I was really glad to see it. It was a good one. You know? Let Guys, our like goal, as always, is 100 plus on this video. 50 plus likes is an additional plus 5 minutes. 80 plus likes is a plus 10 minutes, making this a 40 minute stream. And of course, 100 plus likes is going to take it for a full hour, turning this into a PTD power hour. That's right, everybody. Keep smashing that like so we can hit these goals. Comment 111 if you have smashed the like. Comment 222. If you haven't yet, and if you don't know how to like the video, if you are on a phone or a tablet, all you do is close out the live chat that you're looking at in the top right corner of your screen. You'll see the like button pop up on the left. Give it a quick tap. And if you look a few spaces over to the right, you will see the button that says live chat, which will bring you right back to the live chat. All right, guys, let's keep smashing that like. Smash that like. All right, guys, we're already at 29 thumbs up and counting. You guys are the best. What's up, Zanaya? So well, let's let's see what everyone's saying in the chat here. Uh, the customer app will only show you restaurants if your address is within their delivery area. Each one may be different, whether they deliver themselves or use Grubhub. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Oren says, look for another job. There's nothing else to be done. Well, I will say this. As some people are recommending, so low-key, if you're watching... Hopefully this helps you out. Um, I would definitely recommend trying to see if DoorDash and Uber Eats are available in your market as well. Um, you know, some some markets are also offering that GoPuff uh, service as well. So that's another option. Uh, yes, Lynette. Hey, Lynette, what's up? Google what app has the most market share? Definitely. Oh yeah, DoorDash exploded in my market. I'm telling you, they, I, re I remember I was watching a video the other day from 2017, uh, actually about two years ago. Uh, it was like September, October. And that's when DoorDash hit my market and things just went nuts. Every I remember all the Grubhub drivers and Uber Eats drivers were jumping on DoorDash, man. And I remember it just exploded. What is everyone's favorite platform of choice? I'm just curious. Is it Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats? What is it? Put it in the chat. Uh, Charles Mook is flooding a new flooding a new market doesn't cost them much a few delivery bags is about it Yeah, no, that's true But he's uh, life is great, but he's out of Grubhub and Postmates There are there's a ton of gig jobs out there task rabbit tackle this dispatch it uh, 
delivery dudes or whatever it is, food dudes, I don't know what it is. Uh, there may be a few others in your market as well. My area has a company called Grub South. Uh, I actually have not heard of Grub Health. Grub Health. Grub South. Has anybody here heard of Grub South? River wants to know. Star. Star. Is it Starry RZ? Is that how you pronounce it? Starry RZ. Mr. River. Old Man River. So anybody here, Grub Grub South, comment 333 if you have heard of Grub South. Comment 444 if you have not. Old Man River. The Food Dudes. You know what's funny about Food Dudes is Food Dudes, uh, or Food Dude, is a, um, a food truck in my area that goes to all the construction sites. Food Dude. Because when I used to work in construction in 2015, the Food Dude used to always show up at like... 10 15 you know and every all the workers all just ransacked the, the food truck starry rz got it starry rz got it that's true there's skip the dishes well skip the dishes i thought was based out of Calif uh, california canada and then grubhub bought their routes here or their contracts but yeah skip the ditch skip the dishes and waiter bite squad you see, guys, you know, some people might be saying, well, ah, oh, no, this stuff isn't informative or whatever, but you, we're really helping out a newer driver here. You know what I mean? So keep that in mind, guys. Hey, Cindy Sokol, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Uh, Justin Adair said, number one, Grubhub. Uh, then it is a toss-up between DoorDash and Postmates since DoorDash changed everything. Yes, that's what it was. It was the Roach Coach, but I didn't want to be weird, you know? Ryan Cameron. I'll put that up, sure. What's up, Boudica? How you doing? This is how we do it. This is how we do it. It's Friday night. On the west side. I wish I knew all the words. A little bit slow today. Yeah, Jeff. What's up, Jeff? Hope, hope you're doing well. All right. All right. So Ryan Cameron, uh, he has a comment that he wants everyone to see. He said, I was baited today. I accepted a $2 cheesecake factory delivery with a $20 tip. After the delivery, after delivery tip removed, customers are catching on on how to get their deliveries. Wow, that's freaking ridiculous, dude. Guys, comment 333 if that pisses you off, because that pisses me off. Comment 444 if you disagree. Boudica, now when you make the guacamole, do you put the lime and the cilantro, or do you? how do you make yours? Because I've made my own before. I followed a YouTube video. They actually came out great the first try. What's up, Remo? Absolutely. They should definitely not be able to take tips. That's bull. That's a bunch of bull, a bunch of BS, if you ask me. If you ask me. But Pete, nobody's asking you. Okay, fine. But you know the deal. Come on. Come on, man. Let's do this, guys. Our like goal, as always, is 100 plus on this video. 50 plus likes is an additional plus 5 minutes. 80 plus likes is a plus 10 minutes, making this a 40 minute stream. And of course, 100 plus likes is going to take it for a full hour turning this into a PTD power hour. That's right, everybody. Keep smashing that like so we can hit these goals. Comment 111 if you have smashed the like. Comment 222 if you haven't yet. And if you don't know how to like the video, if you are on a phone or a tablet, all you do is close out the live chat that you're looking at in the top right corner of your screen. You'll see the like button pop up on the left. Give it a quick tap. And if you look a few spaces over to the right, you will see the button that says live chat, which will bring you right back to the live chat. All right, guys, let's keep smashing that like. Smash that like. Jeff, I agree with you. Now that's really stealing tips. Absolutely. Starry RZ, by the, by the way, my avatar is a drawing of me made by a friend. Ah, that makes sense, River. Old man River. <laughs> Zanaya, I appreciate that compliment, but you've got to be kidding, right? No way.
I'll take that compliment. Guys, do you agree with this? And be honest, I, I'm gonna say no. But maybe that's just me being, being modest, I don't know. Uh, Zania says, funny thing, Pete, when I first started watching, I thought you were a Grubhub driver specialist with how much info you have in your videos. Many would beg to differ, Zaniah, but thank you. I appreciate the compliment. Comment 333 if you agree with Zaniah, 444 if you disagree. I, You know what? I would, I would say I feel like I... I don't know. I feel like it's just gotten so all over the place now that like my knowledge is, is somewhat vast, I, I suppose you could say. But I appreciate it, Zaniah. Thank you. Actually, come to think of it, Been, wow, it really has been over two years. Hey, on a mission, what's going on, Michelle Wheaton? What's going on? How you doing? Uh, Gig Economy Rocker suggestion for the new driver: contact your driver specialist and email Postmates Fleet to find out when it'll be live. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely, that's a great idea. Uh, Jedi, anybody else getting burnt out on turning down two, three, and four dollar orders? I feel like my day is consumed with insulting orders. It happens, dude. It's it's getting it's gotten real out of the way, man. That's right, baby driver. That's right. We're the friends we made along the way. Uh, Starry RZ, you should be Pete. If you were offered a, a specialist job, would you take it? What if they said you would have to quit delivery driving in order to be a specialist? I I know what is involved um, as a driver specialist because I got to know my previous driver specialist decently, you know, um, and I, I I just don't think it's a job that I would want, honestly. The pay would have to be like out of this world for me to even consider it. But I see what the driver specialists have to go through, and it's it doesn't seem like a, a very fun job. It seems like a very stressful job. So I would rather be a driver. They are, Stacy, and I think it's wrong, man. It's so messed up. So you're trying to tell me the driver gets to get the uh, customer gets to take back that twenty dollar tip, so the driver gets stiffed and makes two or three dollars on it? That's ridiculous. Yeah, Mr. Kulu, I heard about it. Some people, a few people emailed me about it. How many, do we have a lot of Instacart shoppers here? If you are an Instacart shopper, comment Instacart in the chat. No, dude, I, honestly, email is the best place to get me. Because on Facebook, I just get, like, slammed. Absolutely slammed with messages. I get messages on things on Facebook I didn't even realize I could make, I could get and receive messages on. <laughs> you know? I get messages on like the DMs on Insta on Instacart on Instagram. I get the the DMs on my Facebook fan page, my personal account, Twitter DMs. It's crazy, man. Justin, I believe it. Uh, Stacy, hey Richard Feinberg, what's up, man? Stacy, when you sign up with Grubhub, they'll send you an email saying uh, who your driver specialist is. But if you call Driver Care, I would call Driver Care tomorrow and uh, just say, "Hi, my name is so and so. Uh, I'm just curious who uh, who my driver specialist is. If you'd be able to look them up for me and, and what their email is, and they should be able to tell you. That's how I found out how who my last one was." The, the driver, the DoorDash rep said he was in Mexico. For a while, their call center, I believe, was based out of Honduras, but that was in 2018, I think. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, what would food delivery companies do if every driver quits across the nation? Well, John, I mean, honestly, I don't think that would ever happen, but I don't know. Remo, popularity with what? <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I don't think it would happen. Uh, going to send you an email with, with big change with Grubhub regions. Richard, it's funny you should mention that because I was checking out my region today and it looks like they even expanded even further north. See, in my, in my area, there's the north and south area, uh, the north version and the south version of our region. Uh, and it's split. So, you know, you'll be like, uh, you know, whatever north and whatever south. But since I'm in the north end, 
they've even expanded even further north, like another 10 miles up. So it's pretty wild. No, Michelle, no, no, no. You don't need to apologize. South Park, uh, I, I, did, I, did I watch the one from last week? Yeah, I did. I'm, I'm all caught up to date still. Oh, the emails I get. <laughs> uh, I've heard it's good, Mr. Kulu. I've heard it's pretty decent. Robert Wright, what's happening, man? They are, Richard, they are. I knew it. I knew they were going to remove the regions, man. It's going to be a mess. Because they, you know what? Grubhub realized, man, they realized that keeping drivers to a region was limiting their uh, their orders. Because look, DoorDash is stomping all over them. And they're probably like, you know what? I don't know. Let me just ask everybody. Let's do, let's do. Uh, whoa. Whoa, 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 hold on a second. Here. What, what happened with Stacy Klein? Boudica, I mean, I understand why you timed out Stacy. Stacy, uh, it was because of when you mentioned about uh, the customer care not speaking good English. Um, I guess that could be taken in the wrong way. Uh, but Boudica, I, uh, that was a tough call. Stacy, just come back in a couple of minutes. Uh, I apologize about you getting kicked out like that. Boudica, I appreciate you doing, you know, being vigilant, but I, I don't need, I don't know if that was necessarily, I don't know. I guess that could go either way. I don't know. So I'm just, I'm just curious, guys, everyone, when it comes to regions, are you for regions or against them? Comment 333 if you like having a Grubhub region. Comment 444 if you don't like having one. Boudica timed out Stacy Klein because she said, most of DoorDash customer care don't speak good English. So some people could probably take that as being racist or whatever, but I don't think she I don't think that was meant to be racist. Because it is true when you do call a lot of these call centers, there there is a language barrier. It's not a it's not racism, it's just, you know, it's a language barrier. Because you know what, if you go to another if if you go to another country and you don't speak the language well, you know, it's a what do you call it? It's a language barrier. <clears throat> so I apologize about that, but yeah, Boudica, I understand why you did what you did. You know. Jedi, what do you think was uncalled for? So yeah. I mean, like I said, I've when I first was with Grubhub, as far as I know, all the call centers were based out of like Chicago and Boston. I believe because Chicago is where Grubhub originated. Yeah, it's just a language barrier. It's nothing nothing racist. It's just a language barrier. That's all. Um, the call... I remember last year hearing that that DoorDash... No. One of my friends... One of my friends called up DoorDash in 2018. He's based out of Queens. And when he was on the phone with them, they were just, you know, talking or whatever. And I forget how it came up, but he asked, he goes like, oh, you know, well, uh, I noticed you have an accent. What, where are you calling from? Where's your, where's your call center? And they said Honduras. So I think that was one of the call centers for a while. And then they shut that down or they canceled it. And then they moved it to another spot, you know, sometimes Kurt, you have to, you know, they're not being rude. It's just, unfortunately, companies like DoorDash and Grubhub and all these companies, especially Uber overseas or in other countries they can get cheaper labor it's just unfortunate just business you know it's unfortunate it's unfortunate that you know it has to be like that but you know everyone's got to make money somehow you know let's see here yeah you guys remember when it was in chicago uh brett i don't believe in putnam and duchess yet i don't believe so Hey, Driver Sensei, where have you been? I haven't seen you in a couple of days. Oh, it's in the Philippines? Interesting. Very interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, we have six minutes left of our PTD Power Half Hour. And uh, we got to get this rocking and rolling, you know? Let's do this, guys. Our light goal, as always, is 100 plus on this video. 
50 plus likes is an additional plus five minutes 80 plus likes is a plus 10 minutes making this a 40 minute stream and of course 100 plus likes is gonna take it for a full hour turning this into a ptd power hour that's right everybody keep smashing that like so we can hit these goals comment 111 if you have smashed the like comment 222 if you haven't yet and if you don't know how to like the video if you are on a phone or a tablet all you do is close out the live chat that you're looking at in the top right corner of your screen you'll see the like button pop up on the left give it a quick tap and if you look a few spaces over to the right you will see the button that says live chat which will bring you right back to the live chat all right guys let's keep smashing that like smash that like hey welcome back beauty in the vape hope you're feeling better Ryan's alter ego what's going on what's up everybody all right guys we hit the goal we're at 51 51 thumbs up you guys are the best <coughs> you did oh driver sensei you did your live stream on Japan's highest suspension bridge that must have been fun go Donnycom we gave you a shout out earlier come on man come on man guys everybody in the chat flood the chat saying come on man come on man no stacy klein no problem no problem at all why do you why do you two beauty in the vape or are you saying that like moi like moi like like the french term like referring to me or does that mean something else or does that mean like i don't know no, Stacy, you're good. Stacy, you are good to go. That was it was done by accident. Yes. Thank you, Stacy. Hey, what's up? We got you, Monroe. Come on, man. Walter Rich Rice, what's up? What's up, Heather? Man, did you guys all just get a notification just now? <laughs> Why did everyone just show up? out of nowhere ah gotcha i read you loud and clear yeah no it was a misunderstanding pudica and uh stacy it's all good it's all good it's all good that's right everybody <laughs> exactly starry rz come on man But yeah, when it comes to the whole, when it comes to the whole thing with the uh, the call centers, let's just agree to disagree <laughs> at this point, you know. But guys, going back to the original thing here with this driver, you know, since we just got a whole bunch of new people, um, I just want to reread this for everybody. And for those of you who are just joining us, take a quick listen to this email from Loki L O K I. So everybody say, thank you, Loki. Thank you, Loki. So Loki says, okay, here's my dilemma. Grubhub, Postmates, and DoorDash have been advertising all over my local job board. So I signed up for all three and I've been approved for Grubhub and Postmates. So today my Grubhub package arrived. I had some time to kill. So I figured I would log into the app and see if I can get any deliveries. So a few hours go by and no deliveries come. So I figured, okay, well, I don't have a block. That's got to be why I'm not getting any deliveries. So I guess I'm out of boredom and curiosity. I downloaded the Grubhub ordering app, like the customer app. And upon installing it and looking at the available restaurants in my area, there was a grand total of three. That's right. Three restaurants in my time, in my time zone, in my zone, meaning my region. Being a bit taken back by this and very curious as to why they're advertising all up and down everywhere for drivers but there's no restaurant set up to utilize the service. I then thought to myself, I better check Postmates. And sure enough, upon downloading and installing their app for delivery services, Postmates reports they offer no service in my area. So pretty much my question is, why did both of these companies send me bags and debit cards, but not hire me for a job that doesn't appear to exist in my area? Is there a way that I could contact Grubhub and Postmates and find out what the service is going to be starting in my area or what the heck is going on? So what advice would you guys give 
to Loki. L-O-K-I. That's that's how you spell his name. Just curious, everybody. How would you guys handle it? Put it in the chat right now. Let's do this, guys. Our light goal, as always, is 100 plus on this video. 50 plus likes is an additional plus 5 minutes. 80 plus likes is a plus 10 minutes, making this a 40 minute stream. And of course, 100 plus likes is going to take it for a full hour, turning this into a PTD power hour. That's right, everybody. Keep smashing that like so we can hit these goals. Comment 111 if you have smashed the like. Comment 222 if you haven't yet. And if you don't know how to like the video, if you are on a phone, or a tablet all you do is close out the live chat that you're looking at in the top right corner of your screen you'll see the like button pop up on the left give it a quick tap and if you look a few spaces over to the right you will see the button that says live chat which will bring you right back to the live chat all right guys let's keep smashing that like smash that like all right guys we're at 60 likes and counting John Spaulding has a, a has a neighbor with a dog named Snoopy. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. What kind of dog? Uh, they all did this in, in Jersey City. What did Samuel Sean say? Driving drive in an area that has the actual busier services. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. That's not, not a bad idea at all. You can driver sensei if you would if you wish. You absolutely can. Stormy one, what's up? And guys, I we have 64 people watching. I appreciate all of you. I'm gonna do some quick shout outs. So when you hear your name called, comment 555 in the chat. We've got DD Heather, Ryan's Alter Ego, Michelle Wheaton, Driver Sensei, Samuel Chun, Boudica, John Spaulding, Stormy One, Kurt, uh, Kurt H, uh, Beauty and the Vape, uh, Brian Solomon, Charles Mucus, Life is Great. Uh, Gig Economy Rocker, Go Donnie Com. Who else do we got in here? Mr. Kulu, Walter Rich Rice. By the way, guys, Mr. Kulu, fun fact, was like, I think he, Mr. Kulu, I think you subscribed to me when I only had like 500 subscribers. <laughs> like way back in the day. Uh, let's see who else we got here. Star, Starry RZ, what's up, Rivers? Lover Sky 13. How long does it take for Grubhub to deactivate you for inactivity? That's a good question. That's a good question. That's fair. <clears throat> I feel like everyone kind of has a different answer for this. All right, Anthony Riki. We'll have to check that out. <clears throat> Anthony, send it to me in an email. Hey, what's up? Pup MGTOW. I haven't seen you in forever. Hey, Miguel and Angel Fernandez. I meant to say what's up to you earlier. My bad. My bad. Uh -huh, my bad. Ladies and gentlemen, we have two minutes remaining to get 15 more likes. Actually, 16 more likes. To get up to 80, 80, thumb, 80 thumbs up. 80 thumbs up. Yeah, it is. 80 thumbs up is what's going to do it. So, guys, how long does it take for Grubhub to deactivate you for inactivity? To my understanding, it was 60 days. 60. To my understanding, it was 60. After 30 days, from what I'm told, um, they will like let you know that like you're a partner. I think that's what it is. Juan Rodriguez, you are the first super chat donation of the evening. Like yesterday, we did like $140, which was like insane. I didn't expect that to happen. Um. But everyone, please say thank you to Juan Rodriguez. Mr. Juan Rodriguez. Woo-hoo. That's right. And ladies and gentlemen, we are nearing the end of our stream here. So please make sure all of you guys sign up on the Get Upside Gas app. Comment 333 if you're on here, 444 if you're not yet. All you got to do is download it from the link in the description below this video, down below. Uh, for Android or iPhone when you download it uh, you can pump your gas at one of your local gas stations like you normally would print out your receipt after you're done pumping the gas take a picture of the receipt with your phone 
uh, in the Get Upside app, and within 48 hours, they'll send you 15 to 45 cents a gallon back. It's a really nice deal. Sometimes they'll give you more, sometimes they give you less, depending on where you live. And if a friend or family member signs up using the app as well under your code that you get, uh, that you can give to them, uh, when they pump their gas, you'll get paid. So everyone gets paid. It's called Get Upside. Link is in the description down below. Make sure you download it. For real. Make sure you download it. And also, guys, please join us on our Facebook group, The Delivery Driver Lounge. That's right, everybody. Comment 999 if you're signed up there. 10, 10, 10 if you're not yet. And also, guys, make sure all of you are subscribed to this channel. Pay to drive with the post notifications turned on. You definitely want to have those notifications turned on, my friends. That's right. Comment 777 if you're subscribed. Comment 888 if you are not yet. But it's okay. It's all good. Definitely turn on that post notification bell. And Katie Coppin, what's up? So, also guys, subscribe to my second channel, the PTD Vlogs, for day 701, which will be tomorrow. We have the day 700 little celebration stream, which was fun today. 700 days of consecutive vlogging. It's pretty insane. Pretty insane. Miguel, it's been a year. I would try reapplying, you know? <laughs> no, Matt, man, that's never been my direction, but I appreciate the compliment. But anyway, guys, I'm probably going to wrap it up here. Uh, I appreciate all of you guys watching. Definitely smash that like button down below. We're going for 100 thumbs up. Comment 111 if you smash the like. 222 if you haven't yet. Uh, definitely go subscribe to DD Heather. Go subscribe to the Driver Sensei and uh, the Gig Economy Rocker. All three of them are in the channel. Make sure you go subscribe to them. And if you made it to the end of this, leave a comment saying hashtag Team Replay Shark. And until the next time, my friends, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep hustling. And I'll see all of you tomorrow at 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 o'clock Pacific, right here on the PTD Power Half Hour. You guys are the best. Thank you for being here. And be excellent to each other. Whoa! Whoa!